In this video, I'm going to do some examples on how to graph a given equation uh, by plotting points, which is the easiest way. And then how can we plot or draw the same graph without plotting the points uh, using the intercept gradient method. Okay, so the first equation is y is equal to x plus 2. So the easiest way to graph, in fact, any equation is to plot some points and see whether they follow any pattern. So let me make up a table. So this is your equation and from equation you can make up a table. So this is y is equal to x plus 2. So now you can choose any value of x. Okay, now before I plot points, so let me explain what are uh, this is. This is a x-axis and this is a y-axis. Okay, so let us take any point. Suppose this point. Uh, this point is written as this point corresponds to 3 on the y-axis this is 3 and this is 5 so this point is called 3 comma 5 that means this point corresponds to 3 on the x-axis and 5 on the y-axis always the first number tells the relation of that point with the x-axis so first is across and second is up okay or y-axis so this is a cross and this is y-axis so it can be if it is uh, plus three always starting at the origin you're always starting at zero so three phi suppose someone tells you say what is this point how will you plot say four comma negative five so you always start at, at zero so from zero it will go 4 across. So this is 4. And then it will go 5 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is negative 5 on the y-axis. So this point is called 4, comma negative 5. So let me write some other point. Suppose what is negative 2, negative 2, 6. That means you start at negative, so you start at 0. You have to go 2 to the left. Negative 2 means you're going 2 to the left and 6 up. So this point, this point is called negative 2 comma 6. Okay, my pen is not working well. This is minus 2 comma 6. Okay, now just for this, this, uh, this, uh, this is called a quadrant. These are four quadrants. So this is called the first quadrant. So this is second, this is third, and this is fourth. Okay, so let me take a point in the third quadrant. So this is, say, this point. How will you read this point? So this point from origin is six to the left and four down. So this is negative six, negative four. So this is a convention. And uh, all over the world, people use coordinates by this convention. The first number tells you across on the x-axis, and the second number is up or down. So let us take any point. Say let us start with some negative number. So let us say negative 4, say negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. You can take any point. So, so this relationship, so what's this equation telling you? Y is equal to x plus 2. So this equation is telling me you give me some value of x, there will be some value for of y okay so what we have to do is you have to put this negative value negative 4 in this equation so y is related with x so y is how is the relation between y and x y is related to x by x plus 4 so your the x value you have taken is negative 4 so it's negative 4 plus 2 negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 so let me write here let me make up a new column. This is negative 2. And this is the column of coordinates. So I'll say this is x comma y. Okay. So what does this mean? So when x is negative 4, and x is negative 4, y is negative 2. Okay. So let us take negative 3. So if it's negative 3, it is negative 3 plus 2. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So what is this telling me? When x is negative 3, y is when x is negative 3, y is negative 1. So this is negative 3 
comma negative one I want you to see a pattern so let me do one more this is negative two plus two which is zero this means when x is negative two y is zero so can you see a pattern here this is negative two negative one zero so can you think of what number would come here so let me do one more so this is negative two plus one plus no negative one plus two okay so this is x is negative one so this is negative one plus two okay which is negative two plus negative one plus two is one so when x is negative one y is one so let me go so this is zero plus two I hope you can see the pattern now is two so when x is zero this is two so without look without doing this step I can say can you see this is increasing by one so this should be three and this should be four so one comma three and two comma four so let's plot these points so let me delete these points this is not what I want okay so the first point is negative 4 negative 2 so this is negative 4 you always start at 0 you go 4 to the left and 2 down so this is the first point okay the second point is negative 3 this is negative 3 negative 1 so it comes here this is negative 3 negative 1 negative 2 0 so this point is negative 2 comma 0 then you got negative 1 1 I want you to see a pattern of the points when it is 0 you go 0 2 means you don't go start at 0 and you go 2 up 1 3 means you go from 0 you 1 1 across and 3 up 2 4 means you go 2 across and 4 up so all these points if you see properly they for they are on a straight line so if you join if you use a ruler I'm using a line tool so this is a straight line okay so here the equation of this line the equation of this line is y is equal to x plus 2 y is equal to x plus 2 okay so yeah this is an easy way of doing it but how can you do it without suppose if you don't want to plot these points now if you don't want to make up this table of course you want to plot the points how will you draw it uh, without this table so if you look at this so this is an interesting point so this is called so let me use a different color this point is called the y-intercept so this is where your graph is cutting your y-axis so this is called the y-intercept okay so this is I'm going to show it uh, show you a technique of, of how to draw it without the without the table so this is your y-intercept now if you join these points suppose let me join these points by a triangle so what do I mean suppose if I join these these two point okay so this is a, tri a right angle triangle okay so always do this this is called the rise and this is called the run so if you if you want to go from this point to this point can you see the rise is one and the run is one okay so if you join say these two points any two points and this is called a gradient the ratio so this is one the rise is one the run is one so the ratio if you take rise over run it's it's one one over one so let me join two suppose let me use a red color suppose if you join these two points if you join these two points so what's the what's the rise from year to year the rise is one two and what's the run the run is also two so if you take the ratio of one over one is same as the ratio of two over two is two over two which is one there okay so the gradient is so we can say that the gradient which is rise over run the gradient is rise over run this is the formula uh, you need to remember this formula rise is the change in y and run is the change in x okay so the rise is 
one year. Now, if you look at the equation here properly, this equation has one there, okay? And you can say it's one over one. So the gradient here is one over one. So when you say y is equal to x plus two, this gradient is invisible, okay? It hides itself because one is a very humble number. So this is one over one. So how will you draw this line? How will you draw this graph without this table? So let me delete, suppose we don't know, we don't want to draw this table. Suppose let me delete the whole thing. Suppose you have only the equation, okay? So let me write the equation again. Let me delete it, okay? So let us delete it and let us imagine we have only the equation, okay? So we've got y is equal to x plus two, okay? So we have to do two things. First, we have to identify the y-intercept. So y-intercept is the number which is which is not with x. That's how I remember the number. This is also mathematically called the constant. So this number doesn't have an x and this is called the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is 2. So that's where you start. So you start at the y-intercept. That means that's where you, your graph starts. Okay, so, and the second thing that you need to find is your gradient. So gradient is the number with x. Okay, the gradient is a number with x and y-intercept is a number without x. So is there a number with x? So well, you have to look deeply. So the, yes, there is a number and a number, you have to make up that number and you can say that's one over one. Okay, so the gradient is rise over run. That's the formula, so rise over run. So how can you write that one as two numbers? So that is nothing as one over one. So this means if you rise one, you have to run one to go to the next point. Okay, so that means from this point, if you rise one, this is a rise of one, this is a rise of one, and then you have to go one across. So this will be the next point. So if you go, if you rise one, you have to run one. So this is the next point. So use your logic. If you rise two, how much should you run? If you rise one, you should run one. So if someone is saying if you rise two to maintain the same ratio, you have to also run two. Okay, I hope I hope you understand the logic. So if you rise two, you have to run two. Okay, so let me take one more point. If you rise two, you have to run two. So and if you join these two points or these points, you get a straight line. And this is the same line that we got. So let's write the equation and check whether this method does work. So y is equal to, this is x plus 2. So let us name, let us check whether this, so this point, as we saw at the starting of this video, this point is called 4 comma 6. This point is 4 comma, this is one point on the, on the line. So what, what is this point telling me? When x is 4, y is 6. Does it work? So let's write the equation. y is equal to x plus 2 x plus 2. So when x is 4, if you put 4 here, say if x is 4, we have said that x is 4, y would be 4 plus 2. And that is 6. Okay. And so we can say 4 comma 6 is a line, is a point on this line. So what's the other point that you can see here? Okay. So this is a point that I can see here. I haven't plotted it, but I can see this is negative 4 this is negative 4 comma negative 2. So this point is telling me, which is on the line, that when x is negative 4, y is negative 2. So let us check it, let us test it. So we are saying that a, when x is, when x is negative 4, y should be negative 2. So let us put, so our equation is y is equal to x plus 2. So let us put negative 4, which is, so y is equal to negative 4 plus 2, which is negative 2. So it does work.